February, March 2019, Paper 2, Variant 2. Question 1. Nitrogen is the most abundant gas in the Earth atmosphere and is very unreactive. A. State why N2 is very unreactive. Okay, just one reason, because the NN triple bond step. This NN triple bonds is very strong. It needs a lot of energy to break it. Or you can say that it has a high activation energy. Okay, B. Magnesium and lithium both form nitrites okay, with N2. These two compounds both contain N3 negative ion. Okay, write an equations for the reaction between the magnesium with N2, which form magnesium nitrite. So this one is very easy. Since already given is 3 negative charge, so it will form Mg3N2. Right. So because magnesium is 2 positive, and this nitrite is 3 negative, so you form this compound. Just balance it, you get this equation. For part 2, sodium so solid lithium nitrite reacts with water according to this reaction. State one observation you could make during this reaction. Okay, so this one, uh, because it's from the solutions, lithium hydroxide and ammonia, they are colorless. You cannot really see any colors there. What you can really observe is this. When you put this uh, lithium nitride in water, this solid will dissolve. What you see, only solid dissolves. Okay, C part 1. State the industrial importance of ammonia. Okay, just remember ammonia <coughs> or the ammonium related compound always used as fertilizer. Okay, part 2. One method of producing ammonia is by heating ammonium chloride with calcium oxide. So this is the equation. Ammonium chloride with calcium oxide from ammonia, calcium chloride and water. Explain why the reaction of ammonium chloride with calcium oxide produce ammonia. Uh, if you just look at these uh, the answers, uh, actually it's kind like uh, quite uh, hard to get it. Uh, it's better to use a simple example to link this to to link this uh, reaction. So normally we use hydroxides to react with this uh, ammonium. So it will form ammonia and H two O. It's actually similar to this reaction. It just now the base that we use is calcium oxide. If we use hydroxide, ammonia will form also. So why ammonia will form? Because the ammonium donates proton to hydroxide and form these two products. So we know that ammonium is the proton donor, is a stronger acid. And this stronger acid will react with a stronger base. It's always like this. Stronger acid will always react with stronger base to form a weaker base and weaker acid. Which means ammonia and water, they are weaker base and weaker acid okay if you understand what i'm telling you here so then you may understand this part why okay calcium oxide displaces ammonia from ammonium this one is easy to understand okay it's just like hydroxide it's actually okay displaced the ammonia from ammonium Right, so ammonium ammonia form from here. Okay, this one is 
the one that I want to tell you. Okay, calcium oxide is a stronger base than ammonia. It's actually same as this. Hydroxide is a stronger base than ammonia. That's why when hydroxide with this ammonium, then it can form the ammonia because hydroxide is a stronger base which react with stronger acid to form the weaker base and H2O. So this reaction, if it's happened, we know that calcium oxide is actually a stronger base than ammonia, which will react with the ammonium and form this weaker base. Uh, that's the meaning. Okay, part D, one. Three oxides of nitrogen, uh, NO, NO2, and N2O. Okay, so part one, complete the table to give the oxidation number for NO and NO2. This one very easy. Oxygen is negative two. Nitrogen must be positive two. Oxygen is negative two times two, negative four. Okay, this molecule is neutral. Nitrogen must be positive four. Okay, part two. Nitrogen dioxide can be formed by different chemical reaction. Okay, so for this part, uh, write the equations for the formation of NO2. So you just put the N2 with O2, then form NO2, balance it. Make sure it's form one more. Okay, the thermal decomposition of magnesium nitrate. So it's very easy. Magnesium nitrate from the magnesium oxide, white solid. And brown gas, which is NO2, and oxygen gas. So the ratio is 2, 2, 4, 1. Okay, part 3. Uh, part 3, you have to uh, use data booklet. Uh, this is the old question. Uh, so last time there is a data booklet. In data booklet, you need to find these two actually. Okay, so bond energy of the NN triple bond and the bond energy of the OO double bond. Okay, so now, in order to, because this question is asked you to calculate the bond energies of the NO bond, this bond. Then you have to refer to this equation. So we need to use the bond energies to solve it. Okay, because the delta HR is given positive 82. So therefore, delta HR equal to the total bond energy of the reactant plus the negative means the exo part okay, of the bond energies of products. Okay, why this reactant is uh, not uh, negative? Because reactants need to undergo bond break. It need to absorb energy, so it's always positive. And the, the one that on right hand side, this one, the product, because it's involved bond formation, it's exothermic so we must put a negative sign there so that's why this is the negative this negative sign is uh, actually showing that the bond formation from these products okay so if you understand then you can substitute these uh, values into the equation okay 82 here Okay, so this is uh, two times uh, because it's two. So it means N and triple bond here. They are two bondings times two. So that's why here is two times 944 plus uh, OO double bond. So one only, so it's 496. Okay, this one is for the reactants, the N2 and O2 plus the exo part of the product, okay. Remember, this one is two. The coefficient is two, so you need to times two for all. And N triple bond has to times two. Okay, this one also exo negative, so two times of the bond energy of NO. Uh, 
this is what we need to find. Okay, rearrange this, you get the bond energies of NO is positive 207. Okay, part E is very easy, it's a nitroxyl chloride. This one is nitroxyl chloride, given the structure and the uh, this uh, dipole. Uh, so you just need to show the uh, mechanism on this uh, the NOCl addition, electrophilic addition to this uh, ethene. Okay, so make sure you draw an arrow from the uh, CC double bond, point to the partial positive side means the nitrogen and must show the NCl bond break so means you have to uh, draw one arrow from the NCl bond and point this arrow to the core ring so means the NCl bond break this pair of electron this pair of electrons will move to the core ring to form correct okay means now the C here this one will form a new bonding with N so therefore, you form this C N. Okay, O. And this carbon now is electron deficient is from carbocation here. So just now the chloride okay, here is going to attack this carbocation. Must put a part. Uh, must put a positive charge here. Don't put partial positive. This is carbocation. Put positive. Okay, must show the chloride with lone pair negative charge. Okay, draw an arrow from this lone pair, point to the carbon. Okay, that's all for this question. Thank you.